I'm Rahul Sarpeshkar. I'm an Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at MIT in RLE, and my research is in the area of bioelectronics. And bioelectronics consists of three areas in my group, biologically inspired electronics, biomedical electronics, and circuit models of biology. One of the very nice things about RLE is it's a very good fit for me because it's people who are engineers and scientists and from complete spectrums, biology, physics, engineering. So it's a very good fit for an interdisciplinary person like me. And you know, there's some outstanding faculty and students that I'm proud to be a part of. RLE and the Boston environment in general has doctors, biologists, systems biologists, engineers, technologists, physicists. So a lot of what I do is made powerful by the fact that I'm collaborating with a doctor who wants to use my device in a real patient, or with a biomems person uh, who builds things that I cannot build because that's not my specialty. So that is a very, very important part of why I'm at MIT, is these collaborations. I love the creativity that comes when you get an idea and you put things together that causes a sizzle in the brain. I like inventing. One of my great joys is constantly creating new things and coming up with new ideas. Science is sort of a very, in some ways, a very divine and artistic thing. It's, it's not just something that you just do like everyday life. It's about trying to really understand the deep nature of things. So I try and inculcate in my students that there's a way of doing things that's insightful, that's intuitive, that's you know artistic, and that when that all comes together, you've built this amazing gadget or you've made this amazing discovery. And that that's what you have to be after constantly, that insight and intuition, that, that way of looking at things that is very simple but yet very profound. My training is in electrical engineering, physics, uh, computation, and neural systems. It's fairly broad. So I've sort of been in the engineering camp. I've been in the science camp. So I'm motivated by both uh, practicality, which is my engineering side, and by beauty and curiosity, which is, I would say, my scientific side. My research has broadened. I'm, in fact, now working more on the brain and the cell and the heart. And I'm all over the body because I realized, really, there's a universality to how things work everywhere. Uh, you know, if you understand how a cell works, you also understand how a neuron works. And if you understand things about how the ear works, you understand things about how the vocal tract works, about the, how the heart works. And so you can apply this knowledge that you've gained in one area to realize it's actually a much bigger, broader picture. And in turn, the biology can inspire better circuits. And so it's a feedback loop between biology and engineering. The engineering helps you understand the biology, it helps you repair the biology, it helps you analyze the biology. The biology in turn inspires better engineering. Graduate students are sort of the backbone of MIT. And, and I think MIT would be nowhere without its graduate students. I would be nowhere without my graduate students. Uh, they are sort of the people who actually get the real research done, who figure out all the devil in the details, and you can get together, uh, get them together in teams that allow them to do grander projects that any one person couldn't do alone, a professor or one graduate student. Success is two things. One is doing something that is that really gives you deep insight and clarity into the nature of how things work and understanding that really well to where it's very, very simple. The second is that you have built something that has had an impact on the lives of real people. That because of my gadget, one day a deaf person will hear better or a blind person may be able to see better or a paralyzed person will walk. I like to tell my students that in many ways they're really only two reasons to do anything, whether it be science or whatever in life. One is because it's fun, and the other because you're going to change the world. For my own lab, I see that as long as I keep doing what it is I'm excited about doing and I'm working on problems that are relevant to society and can inspire my students to work on them, we will succeed. I think my biggest 
message is follow your heart. Uh, your heart is much wiser than your head. And I have used that as a guiding principle and compass all my life. In the long term, that's what will make you succeed, whether you're an artist, an engineer, a mathematician, a scientist, a photographer, you've got to follow your heart.